basically fishing trying to catch fish out here and I'm also going to be trying to present to him these pride rods and show him how good these rods are so right now what are we fishing we're fishing a, uh, a little ledge right here on Logan Martin Lake in uh, Lincoln Alabama well, actually we're in the Riverside area of Alabama um, and we're fishing uh, a Carolina rig with a green pumpkin worm uh, or watermelon seed, I apologize, watermelon seed worm. Uh, we're throwing in about 28 foot of water and bringing it up the ledge and we're sitting in about 14. Uh, well, right now we're at 10, but we're, we're our, back of our boat's hitting where we're stopping is about 14 foot of water. So we're right now on a big fish spot. We're mainly just trying to catch a few fish, figure out what the fish are doing. Uh, as you guys can see, it's pretty overcast today and we're gonna be trying to see if if it rains, maybe these fish will turn on. We want to catch as many fish as possible to have a good video for you guys. So we're going to be constantly moving spots trying to figure out what these fish are biting on. So you guys stay tuned for that. With these rods coming out of Montgomery, Texas, they use the best components for these rods. We use the best guides. They're Fuji guides. We also use the best rod blanks. It comes from North Fork Composites. There he is. By Gary Loomis. And actually, I've got a fish here. Going. Obviously, we're working this too slow. See how that happened? Yeah, I was reeling really up really the boat. And he he got absolutely, he absolutely slammed it. If you guys didn't see that, pretty cool. A little Coosa River spot there for Logan Martin. Wires in there too. Can you? We can pop it out. Not too big, but that's a fat little spot. He's a healthy fish, as you guys can see. Healthy bass. Caught him on the Carolina rig like he was saying. We're gonna give him a proper release. Woo, feisty spot. They're mean. They are very mean. At this point, do you have any idea where you could purchase those rods at? Is there any local stores carrying them yet? We are currently working with Silicog Marine and ATV, and whenever they come down here August 1st, they're gonna ask if they can put their rods in here. So they're gonna start working with local stores. We're probably gonna talk to Carava as well, okay. if you know where that is. Absolutely. And that'll be definitely what we're gonna try to do. We're trying to move them into Alabama. We're trying to get them more in the Southeast area, because they're mainly local around Texas and the Southwest. We're going to start easing around into the country and moving the rods and making them more popular, which of course, they're pretty popular already because they're made by the legend Billy Kistler. He's back in the industry making rods again, and they're absolutely amazing. They're light, they're sensitive, they're durable. I mean, I'm, oh, that's a good schooling fish bite yeah. over there. Chasing some shad over there. But, like I was saying, durable, sensitive, they're just amazing rods. They're quality rods. They're gonna be really big in the industry soon. Well, it's a good looking rod. I like the design and, and, and I like anything that's American made. And when they're representing America with putting the colors on there like that, that's just a really cool way to represent their company being based in, in, in the United States. Billy Kistler is all about the USA. He's all about America and that's, that's the reason they came up with the name American Pride Fishing Rods. Yeah, that's pretty cool because, you know, the thing about it, Everybody talks about wanting American-made everything. There's a reason behind that, obviously. 
the more American-made products we have, the more job opportunities we have, and the more better economics we have in the country. So it's really cool for a rod company to be stepping up like that. And, and I'm sure there's other rod companies that produce in, in America, but are they using mostly all American-made products? Probably not. Guys, say hello to Facebook World, you're on Facebook Live. Let's How's it going, guys? Facebook. How many viewers do we have? Uh, 10 in building. That's not bad. Awesome. Well, you want to tell them what you're doing, Mason? You never know. That's the weird thing about fishing in general. Is that you and your partner could be throwing the exact same thing. It's happened to me numerous times, and one guy's just having a great day, and the other guy just can't catch a break. So, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's just the way it goes. If that rock starts pulling back, you're in trouble. Yeah, I'd, I'd be kind of scared. I, mean, I think I have a, a big, big, big catfish or something. If it's a bass, you better get ready. Get yeah, the trolling motor on high because I'm going to get this one. Something kind of funny this year, I fished Logan Martin a good bit. And usually about this time of year, maybe a little bit earlier in the summer, but I think it's usually about this time of year, I'm usually catching uh, catfish and everything on crankbaits. It's just not happening this year. I wonder if maybe... So that fish jumped off my line and went down here. <laughs> he said, uh, I think I got a fish on and then I got hit. Come on, little dude, chill. It didn't hit super hard. That one was a little more subtle. He is white. Mine was just a little thump and it just started moving a little bit. It waited too long to set the hook. I don't know Let's why. He is very white. Looks like a healthy fish, though. I mean, he ain't got no scars or anything. Probably hangs out in deeper water more than most. Yep, darker the fish, the more structure he's in. Yeah, he's the one spinning the tent bed. guys how's it going I'm back home we just got back off of Logan Martin I, right now I'm gonna end the video but before we do I want to go ahead and go over a few things uh, what I first want to do is I want to go over the rods that I used today what baits that I used you know how did I fish them where did we fish them at I want to go over all that and just tell you guys how our day went what was my setup today so right here I have an American Pride fishing rod. This is a medium heavy. It's a seven foot, has a fast action tip. And this is the advanced series, by the way. Today I was fishing a Texas rig with a three quarter ounce weight. And I also had a three aught EWG hook. And with that, I was throwing a watermelon seed worm guys this was my setup today this is what I mainly caught some of my fish on the other rod that I had was a Carolina rig I was throwing it on a 7.6 extra heavy and I was throwing this rod with 12 pound line I have lighter line so I can I really just have lighter line to fish out deeper but yet it's enough that way I can get that fish out of that deeper water and it's strong enough this is a 7.3 extra heavy this is by American Pride. This has the wing grip handles, but these are not the wing grips that you would see on the loose. These are actually custom golf club handles. And the reason I was throwing this seven foot three extra heavy was because this seven foot three extra heavy don't have a lot of tip to it. It's got more backbone than anything. 
and as you guys seen I barely had to set the hook on this clip that I'm showing right now I barely had to set the hook on this fish I mean as soon as I was reeling it back he just absolutely hammered it and just kind of reeled down and he was on there so uh, it hooked him pretty good too so yeah I have the seven foot three extra heavy with this I have a lose Mach 2 this is a 7 3 to 1 gear ratio reel again but this time I have 17 pound P line and then as my leader for this Carolina rig I was throwing 17 again but it's clear line and I think this was Strin, which was what Donnie Lester set me up with Donnie Lester is a Toyota sponsored semi pro and uh, me and him just went out today I wanted to pitch him most of the pride products I had a pretty long leader on this Carolina rig I had a half ounce weight with a bead a swivel and I'd say about mm, maybe a five foot leader so I had a pretty long leader that I had set up and we were just dragging this slow so yeah guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video big thanks to pride rods and silicon marine also thank you to donnie lester for featuring me and letting me be in his boat i'm so thankful for him letting me be out there and him teaching me how to fish logan martin guys thank you guys for staying tuned to the channel thank you donnie lester thank you pride rods thank you silicon marine and atv i'll see you guys peace out